what's going on there, mech warriors? All you freeborn scum and vat rats out there. Ave Mortem here, and I'm coming with you with a special build. Recently, in the most recent patch, everyone who played last year in 2017, December 27th, one game, was awarded two hero mechs. One which was the yet to be released Sun Spider Vanguard, and the other one is the already having been released last year, uh, Rough Neck Powerhouse. Today, I want to bring you this build on the Rough Neck Powerhouse because I think that this is by far the most uh, unanticipated jewel uh, in recent mech releases. And so we're gonna take a quick look here at my build. Um, what I've done with it uh, on the right arm I put in two light machine guns uh, the right torso the LB 10x okay I tossed in some ammo uh, I'm very sensitive about ammo explosions so I tossed in a case uh, in the right leg I put some more ammo for both the LB 10x and the medium range missiles that occupy the center and the left torso and I did the same exact thing on the left leg, right? And I alternated the ammo so that, look, if I lose a leg, not all my ammo goes with it, right? If I lose both legs, well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to be dead, right? So, like, who cares at that point? Uh, and again, as I said, the center torso and the left torso have uh, medium range missiles. Uh, I put three tens in there. Okay, did that uh, partially because of uh, tonnage, space, uh, and heat. And uh, in the left arm, finally, I tossed in two ER medium lasers. Now, I know a lot of people are saying that the meta build for this is you're going to have, uh, oh, I have a light engine 280 in here. A lot of people are going to say, you know what, you should have like a standard engine and you put like an AC-20 or an LB-20 uh, LB in here. And like I get the meta build, I get w what people are saying, you know, strip the arms and whatnot. But I think that really they're missing out on some really great points of this mech um, in that. And re really the secret is in the weapon grouping because, you know, I have my medium lasers to my left mouse click because that's the side that they're on. I have the light machine guns and the LB-10X to the right mouse click all together, right? They're grouped together. This way, you know what? If I shoot the LB-10X, I can just keep going with the light machine guns and I just continually fire the light machine guns and the LB-10X recycles and it's going to send off another shot, okay? Hopefully it'll hit. It's it's a way of spamming and it's uh, really, I've used it already for area control um, as far as the tunnel on Crimson Strait goes and it worked like a charm. Um, and of course the missiles, I grouped them all together and they're just my, my side mouse button, that's why. Um, as far as skills go, I mean, the Roughneck already has like crazy structure quirks to it and crazy armor quirks. When it came to firepower, I did some range. I definitely did some cooldown, some heat generations. I got, the, I got both LBX spreads to narrow the the spread of the LBX hit. I did do two laser durations, although I think, it, I mean, I feel like the lasers are more like a secondary weapon or actually like a tertiary weapon, really, when you think about it. The primary really being the, the, the missiles. And so I've hit all my missile skills, um, the missile spread, the missile rack, and the high explosion uh, skills are all in there or all lit up. And uh, I, I, I got a couple of velocity in there just for, uh, you know, travel's sake. Uh, survival, and again, this has a crazy, crazy armor quirks and structure quirks. So yeah, I pretty much lit up the survival. Um, I avoided one reinforced casing and AMS overload. You can have AMS on this mech, I don't have it on. 
Um, so I am open to, to learn spam. And, and then operations. And really, this is mainly because of heat management. Um, because the missiles, the missiles are the real heat generator in this. Um, so I've got, you know, heat containment. I've got cool run going. Um, you know, I didn't worry so much about speed. Um, and that's where the focus was on operations. Otherwise, everything else is like just empty, right? I don't, I don't need anything else. And honestly, um, I carry right now a cool shot on it. And I don't even think that I need the cool shot anymore. And when you get to some of the gameplay, you'll see why. Because I'm really not, uh, I mean, I'm not overheating that much unless I'm on a hot map. Uh, Terra Therma, Rubelite Oasis, um, places like that, it's, it's probably really good to have. So, uh, this is my build for the powerhouse. And, um, you know, let's, let's, let's see what I can do with it, right? And... You know, it, ignore that tier three thing. We all know I'm a tier six mech warrior. Um, unfortunately, when PGI did the patch, they didn't fix my, my skill ranking to tier six, but I'm sure that'll come in the April patch. So let's check out some gameplay on it. All right. 1v1 me, bro. We're on River City playing Assault. There's our base. There's our prerequisite sun spider. Another potato inside. And I'll probably end up doing a defensive stand here. Hold so locks for LRM. The, the plan, or so it seems. Do, do some poking. Next victim. Next potato. There's their prerequisite sun, sun spider. Everybody needs a sun spider. Seems to be a lot of them going around. They are there. capping our base. Enemy team confirmed oh, for pussies. Headed back to the base. Oh geez, it's a bad guy. One of our idiots are capping the enemy base. Oh, one good cap deserves another. You what, mate? Ugh. Hold locks for LRM. Another potato inside. Enemy spotter in now. Gotta be 
Fight me, bro. You taking the piss, mate. One of our idiots are capping the enemy base. I fucked up, someone save me. Hold locks for LRM. One of our idiots are capping the enemy base. Next victim. Here we go. Finally some action. Let's melt the Kodiak. Press F, baby. Press F, baby. Pay those Hold respects. locks for LRM. You taking the piss, mate. Let's go, my Another amigos. potato inside. Next potato. KMDD, baby. KMDD. Get this little guy over here. There we go. There goes your torso. How about that? Nice. One of our idiots are capping the enemy and base. I'm that idiot. Oh geez, it's a bad guy. 1v1 me, bro. Next victim. One of our idiots are capping the enemy base. 1v1 me, bro. Let's go get that vanguard. Another potato in sight. One of our idiots are capping the enemy base. Bad guy here. One of our idiots are capping the enemy base. Woo! Kill and blow! Bye bye, Emmy. You want my. I said spider. Ah, oh, rip that pepperoni, baby. You taking the piss, mate. One of our idiots are capping the enemy base. Press F to pay respects. Pay respects. Ah, uh, yeah. That was a good round. That was a good round. Great game, everybody. Great game. 462 on the damage, 1 KMDD, 5 kill assists, 5 kill assists, 1 kill and blow, did have a little damage, ripped off some components, yeah, I'm good with that, I'm real good with that. Enemy spotter in now. Here we are, we're on the HPG, and uh, we're doing skirmish. We already have a disconnect. You what, mate? And it looks like my entire team is NASCAR. -ing. Only nobody's really talking. Which is, like, kind of weird. Especially if Hold locks for LRM.
You taking the bus, mate? One v one, me, bro. Hold locks for LRM. You taking the bus, mate? And LRM douchebag is after you. It's that annoying LRM guy again. Left torso is getting wrecked. Oh geez, it's a bad guy. This is such an anti-meta game. But Hold locks for LRM. Something. Bad guy here. I kind of like that because uh, you that take the uh, it out. Just duking it out for, uh, it out for uh, the top uh, gets real boring real quick. He's dead. 25% of the enemies are eliminated. Nice. You what, mate? This is really, uh... Another potato in sight. Enemy spotter in now. 1v1 me bro. Bad guy here. I feel like I've done a ton of team damage. John Woo! Oh geez, it's a bad guy. This guy again. I've lost uh, some MRMs here. The enemies are half depleted. Keep pushing. Oh, I got a kill and blow. Not sure how that happened, but okay. I'll take it. Assuming it was that guy. I will take that kill and blow. Now I'm chasing after the Kodiak, which probably is not the smartest thing to do. Oh. You what, mate? Whatever this guy is. Battlemaster. Almost got them all. Clean up the survivors. Manly AC ammo 25%. the battle master oh geez it's a bad took guy a while for him to go down and that my Good friends job, is a powerhouse that was a power play what good game good game everybody good game all right i got two kill and blows seven kill assists one solo kill two kills most damage dealt did 647 647 so yeah, guys, that's the powerhouse. I mean, you know, I really enjoy playing this mech. I enjoyed it so much. Like it got released five days ago and I've already skilled it up and I've already got a bunch of extra XP. I might go and tweak the skill tree a little bit, you know, for uh, maybe some heat, maybe some more velocity on the missiles and whatnot. But yeah, this is this is the mech and I, I really enjoyed playing it. Um, I think that, you know, if you turn around and you go out and get one or if you got one i should say if you got one 
uh, try this build out. I, and look, if you find a better build, let me know. Uh, you know, appreciate the follows, the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments. Shoot me a message on Twitter. And uh, yeah, let me see what you all got. All right. Anyway, may all your drops be uh, dandy and uh, may your cool shots uh, be refreshing. Have a great day, Mech Warriors.